Okay, then we're gonna make a quick video about the BMW M5, M3, M6, V10 or V8, non-turbocharged 2006 up to 2010, 11. So most common problem which you're gonna find online, people gonna tell you, replace these gears, replace this gear, okay? So here's the deal. You know, don't believe in that because the main problem is not just the gears. You'll be surprised. So this is the, the unit we just got from the non-working bank one. Okay. And as you can see, the transistors are burned completely. And lots of people say like, oh, buy it, replace it. You'll be surprised. You replace them, they're going to be burned again. Problem, this is a secondary problem. It's not a rule, root of a problem. So here's the problem, I'll show you. So basically buying the gears is just a waste of money, pretty much. There is a problem with them, of course, but main problem is not with the gears, I'll show you. So this one, um, this one is the broken, bad one. Okay, look what's going to happen. This is the actual um, motor which controls everything. Look at this, it's not doing anything, but you can see. See what's going on? It's barely, barely working. It's not supposed to be like this. So those transistors are controlling this more. This is a good one. Somebody replaced the gears here, which is, was not a smart idea because it's not, it's not smooth anymore. Okay, see what's... This is how it is supposed to work. This is a working motor inside. So problem is... Oh my gosh, see what they put in there. So this is how you test. It should be around like 300 milliamps. Okay, this is a working one. You saw what's happening with another working one. That's why your transistors go bad. So, and another thing I wanted to tell you, see somebody replaced the gears. Now look, it's supposed to be smooth. See, it's stuck. It's not supposed to go like this. How it is supposed to be, I'll show you. So I'll put this gear into, the, this is how it's supposed to be. See this? So those guys who sell you gears for so much money, they didn't even do it right. So there's a problem with the gears. That's why, see this one, the metal one? So there's a problem, it's not, it's, 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 the clearance is not good. It, the, the teeth were designed not properly and that's why it's not working as it's supposed to be. So my, my advice for you, to you, don't waste your money. Just buy new module, it's $600 and it will last probably 100,000 miles, no, plus minus, okay? Buying the gears is a waste of time, waste of money. And you're gonna hate it because working in this engine is not a joke, right? So, so bottom line is that the motor goes bad. The brushes and whatever, this, the windings, the actual motor goes bad. As a result, you get these transistors failed. And um, the question is, do the gears go bad? But honestly, why do you care about the gears if your motor is bad? Yes, these gears, you can see, yeah, it's worn out, it doesn't look good, but well, it's, it's not the point. Not the gears killed it, um, the motor. You know, the, the gears, they don't, they don't get stuck here completely. You can see that the motor was working overtime. See, it doesn't get stuck or anything. It's all fine here. So the motor gave up. The gears not good, but they're still working. So, so the problem is basically the motor. And uh, rebuilding the motor, I don't know how to do it. If somebody can rebuild the motor, then you can install the gears. Maybe it's a good solution. Just replacing the gears is just a, it's not gonna help you. Because like I said, there was one car, I replaced these transistors four times. And then we find out that the motor is worn out. The actual um, brushes, I think if you replace brushes, maybe it's gonna be okay, maybe not. But like I said, honestly, all this time you're gonna put in this car to install these actuators, 
Oh, you know, when you're saving like a few hundred dollars, it makes zero sense. Just buy a new one, you'll be fine. Because like I said, you, need, you, you want to rebuild it. You need good motor, you need good gears, okay? Since they don't sell the motor, I don't know. I don't know how about to tell you how to fix it, how to save it, but I can tell you that. You know, since the, 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 the labor is pretty expensive, I would say don't, don't even waste your time. That's my solution. And believe me, I've seen quite a few of them. And uh, you'll find lots of people trying to save here and here. Who saves? The smart people who buy new ones. That's it. Thank you for watching.